I'm Dean Kelberth, and welcome to Forgotten Lives and Buried Stories, which is dedicated to telling the stories of people and events from our past that didn't always make it into the history books. In this episode, we'll look at the extraordinary tale of Nicholas Said, son of an African general, a prodigious world traveler who had immigrated to the United States, joined the Union Army, fought in the Civil War, and then stayed in the South to help former slaves adjust to their new lives of freedom. In the 1860s and 70s, American newspapers ran dozens of stories about Said's exploits, calling him a remarkable African. The New York Times wrote of how he could speak at least 12 languages and was deep in the philosophies. The Nation magazine suggested he might make a good vice president someday, or at least a U.S. ambassador. Strangers referred to him as the wonderful Nicholas Said. This is the only known photograph of Nicholas Said, taken in 1863 when he joined the Union Army. Coming to America as a freeman from what is now Nigeria, he was the first African-born soldier to enlist in the Civil War. After the war, he signed up hundreds of freed slaves to cast their first votes, becoming one of the nation's first black election officials. Ignoring a terror campaign by the Ku Klux Klan, he established more than half a dozen schools for freed slaves. For at least a decade after the Civil War, he was a roving lecturer throughout the South, telling black and white audiences about the accomplishments that could be achieved by Africans. In his autobiography, he wrote of how he would always try to teach the rising generation the advantages of education. But then, as the Reconstruction era drove to a close, he disappeared from the public eye, and, as with many other black voices of his time, his story was quickly brushed aside. So what was Nicholas Said's story? Where did he come from? How did he rise so quickly on the national scene, only to disappear? In the next video, we'll take a look at the country of Borno in Central Africa, where Nicholas Said was born, and where his father commanded an army that looked like it worked straight out of the Arabian Nights. We'll follow his travels through the Ottoman Empire in Europe, where he crossed paths with such notables as Queen Victoria, Emperor Louis Napoleon, and Tsar Nicholas I, and where he learned to speak such languages as English, French, Russian, German, Italian, and Turkish. And in a future video, we'll look at how Nicholas Said and other African Americans helped ensure a Union victory in the Civil War, and we'll look at the role that he and others played after the slaves were set free. So this has been a brief introduction to Nicholas Said. In future videos, I'll discuss other forgotten figures from our past and forgotten events and beliefs that play a role in shaping the way we live today. I hope you like this video, and if you do, I hope you'll hit like at the bottom of the screen and click on subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And please feel free to leave comments and questions. Thanks very much for tuning in.